Charles Boyer was a French actor who appeared in more than 80 films between 1920 and 1976. After receiving an education in drama, Boyer started on the stage, but he found his success in American movies during the 1930s. His memorable performances were among the era's most highly praised, in romantic dramas such as The Garden of Allah, Algiers, and Love Affair. Another famous role was in the 1944 mystery thriller Gaslight. He received four Academy Award nominations for Best Actor. Early years, Boyer was born in Figuic, Lot, Midi Pira Copyright Nar Copywriters, France, the son of Augustin Louise Duran and Maurice Boyer, a merchant. Boyer was a shy, small town boy who discovered the movies and theatre at the age of 11. Boyer performed comic sketches for soldiers while working as a hospital orderly during World War I. He began studies briefly at the Sorbonne, and was waiting for a chance to study acting at the Paris Conservatory. He went to the capital city to finish his education, but spent most of his time pursuing a theatrical career. In 1920, his quick memory won him a chance to replace the leading man in a stage production, and he scored an immediate hit. In the 1920s, he not only played a suave and sophisticated ladies' man on the stage but also appeared in several silent films. MGM signed Boyer to a contract, and he loved life in the United States, but nothing much came of his first American stay from 1929 to 1931. At first, he performed film roles only for the money and found that supporting roles were unsatisfying. However, with the coming of sound, his deep voice made him a romantic star. His first Hollywood break came with a very small role in Jean Harlow's Red-Headed Woman. After starring in a French adaptation of Lilium directed by Fritz Lang, he began to receive public favor. Boyer landed his first leading Hollywood role in the romantic musical Caravan with Lorette the Young. Subsequently, he co-starred with Claudette Colbert in the psychiatric drama Private Worlds. Stardom, until the early 1930s, Boyer mainly continued making French films, and Mao Erling co-starring Danielle Dara in 1936 made him an international star. This was followed by Orich, opposite Michael A. Morgan. The off-screen Boyer was bookish and private, far removed from the Hollywood high life. But on screen he made audiences swoon as he romanced Marlene Dietrich in his first Technicolor film, The Garden of Allah, Jean Arthur in History is Made at Night, Greta Garbo in Conquest, and Irene Dunn in Love Affair. In 1938, he landed his famous role as Pepe Lamoco, the thief on the run in Algiers, an English-language remake of the classic French film Pepe Lamoco with Jean Gabin. Although in the movie Boyer never said to co-star Hdi Lamar come with me to the Casbah, this line was in the movie trailer. The line would stick with him, thanks to generations of Impressionists and Looney Tunes parodies. Boyer's role as Pepe Lamoco was already world famous when animator Chuck Jones based the character of Pepe Le Pew, the romantic skunk introduced in 1945's Odorable Kitty, on Boyer and his most well-known performance. Boyer's vocal style was also parodied on the Tom and Jerry cartoons, most notably when Tom was trying to woo a female cat. Boyer played in three classic film love stories, All This, and Heaven Too with Bette Davis. As the ruthless cad in Backstreet with Margaret Sullivan. And Hold Back the Dawn with Olivia de Havilland and Paulette Goddard. In contrast to his glamorous image, Boyer began losing his hair early, had a pronounced paunch, and was noticeably shorter than leading ladies like Ingrid Bergman. When Bette Davis first saw him on the set of All This, and Heaven Too, she did not recognize him and tried to have him removed. In 1943, he was awarded an honorary Oscar certificate for progressive cultural achievement in establishing the French Research Foundation in Los Angeles as a source of reference. Boyer never won an Oscar, though he was nominated for Best Actor four times in Conquest, Algiers, Gaslight and Fanny, the latter also winning him a nomination for the Laurel Awards for Top Male Dramatic Performance. He is particularly well known for Gaslight in which he played a thief murderer who tries to convince his newlywed wife that she is going insane. After World War II, in 1947, he was the voice of Captain Daniel Gregg in the Lux Radio Theater's presentation of The Ghost and Mrs. Muir, played in the film by Rex Harrison. In 1948, 
he was made a Chevalier of the French La Copyright Guin d'Honneur. When another film with Bergman, Arch of Triumph, failed at the box office, he started looking for character parts. Apart from leads in several French films such as Max Affair One Quarter L.S. The Earrings of Madame de and Nana, he also moved into television as one of the pioneering producers and stars of Four Star Theatre. Four Star Productions would make him and partners David Niven and Dick Powell Rich. In 1956, Boyer was a guest star on I Love Lucy. On March 17, 1957, he starred in an adaptation for TV of the Pulitzer Prize winning play, There Shall Be No Night, by Robert E. Sherwood. The performance starred Catherine Cornell, and was broadcast on NBC as part of the Hallmark Hall of Fame. He was nominated for the Golden Globe as Best Actor for the 1952 film The Happy Time, and also nominated for the Emmy for Best Continuing Performance by an Actor in a Dramatic Series for his work in Four Star Playhouse. In 1951, he appeared on the Broadway stage in one of his most notable roles, that of Don Juan, in a dramatic reading of the third act of George Bernard Shaw's Man and Superman. This is the act popularly known as Don Juan in Hell. In 1952, he won Broadway's 1951 Special Tony Award for Don Juan in Hell. It was directed by actor Charles Lawton. Lawton co-starred as the Devil with Cedric Hardwick as the statue of the military commander slain by Don Juan, and Agnes Muirhead as Doña Anna, the commander's daughter, one of Juan's former conquests. The production was a critical success, and was subsequently recorded complete by Columbia Masterworks, one of the first complete recordings of a non-musical stage production ever made. As of 2006, however, it has never been released on CD, but in 2009 it became available as an MP3 download. Boyer co-starred again with Claudette Colbert in the Broadway comedy The Marriage Go Round, but said to the producer, Keep that woman away from me. He was also nominated for the Tony Award as Best Actor in the 1963 Broadway production of Lord Pengo. Later that same year Boyer performed in Man and Boy on the London and New York stage. Later career. On screen, he continued in older roles in Fanny starring Leslie Caron, Barefoot in the Park with Robert Redford and Jane Fonda, and the French film Stavisky, the latter winning him the New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Supporting Actor, and also received the special tribute at Cannes Film Festival. Another notable TV series, The Rogues, starred Boyer with David Niven and Gig Young. The show lasted through the 1964 Euro 1965 season. His career lasted longer than that of other romantic actors, winning him the nickname The Last of the Cinema's Great Lovers. He recorded a laid-back album called Where Does Love Go? in 1966. The album consisted of famous love songs sung with Boyer's distinctive deep voice and French accent. The record was reportedly Elvis Presley's favorite album for the last 11 years of his life, the one he most listened to. Later in life, he turned to character roles in such films as, Around the World in 80 Days, How to Steal a Million, Is Paris Burning, and Casino Royale. He had a notable part as a corrupt city official in the 1969 film version of The Madwoman of Chaylot, featuring Catherine Hepburn. His last major film role in Hollywood was that of the High Lama in a poorly received musical version of Lost Horizon. A year later, he gave a final outstanding performance in his native language as Baron Raoul and Alain Resnais's Stavisky. For his contribution to the motion picture and television industries, Boyer has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6300 Hollywood Boulevard. Personal life, in addition to French and English, Boyer spoke Italian, German, and Spanish. Boyer was the husband of British actress Pat Patterson, whom he met at a dinner party in 1934. The two became engaged after two weeks of courtship and were married three months later. Later, they would move from Hollywood to Paradise Valley, Arizona. The marriage lasted 44 years until her death. Boyer became a naturalized citizen of the United States in 1942. Boyer's only child, Michael Charles Boyer, committed suicide at age 21. He was playing Russian roulette after separating from his girlfriend. On August 26, 1978, two days after his wife's death from cancer, 
and two days before his own 79th birthday, Boyer committed suicide with an overdose of seconal while at a friend's home in Scottsdale. He was taken to the hospital in Phoenix, where he died. He was interred in Holy Cross Cemetery, Culver City, California, alongside his wife and son. Filmography, Features, Short Subjects the Candid Camera Story of the Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer Pictures 1937 Convention, Hollywood Goes to Town, Les a Registered Trademark Leda La Libita Copyright Narrator, Congo Voice, On Stage. 1955 Motion Picture Theatre Celebration, Television, Four Star Playhouse, Charles Boyer Theatre, The Jackie Gleason Show, Toast of the Town, I Love Lucy, Climax. Hallmark Hall of Fame, Playhouse 90. A Private Little Party for a Few Chums, Goodyear Theatre, Alco Theatre, What's My Line? The Dinah Shaw Chevy Show, The Dick Powell Show, The Golden Prison, The Louvre, The Rogues, The Bell Telephone Hour, The Name of the Game, Film 72, Broadway, Red Gloves, Don Juan in Hell, Kind Sir, The Marriage Go Round, Lord Pengo, Man and Boy, References. Bibliography. External links. Charles Boyer at the Internet Movie Database, Charles Boyer at the TCM Movie Database, Charles Boyer at the Internet Broadway Database, Charles Boyer at Find a Grave, Sur la site quercy.net a euro propos de Charles Boyer et de Figique. Photographs and Literature